the angular 10 is available now so we're going to discuss what's new in that hi everyone this is subrat and you are watching fun of heuristics so on this channel you will get to know about the programming languages the framework and all about the algorithm so please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet so angular 10 got released on 25th of june and it's just a week back from the time of recording it's a major change that that means it's a major release the previous one was angular 9 which which was released four months back they released uh, angular 10 two two months prior to the normal release cycle the normal release cycle of angular is about to be six months if you are starting now and if you install angular CLI, you will going to get angular 10 but if you have older version like 9 or 8 and you want to switch to angular 10 then just re reinstall our angular cli by running npm install hyphen g at the rate angular hyphen cli and that will going to update your angular cli and i have already installed angular 10 means angular cli 10 i will just show here and g version so and here you can see we you have angular cli 10 and while you are creating a angular project that is ng new then you can give a optional command which is strict and what it will do is means it will strict you to use defined type in your project that is the main main thing and we are going to see the rest so what's my project name i'll just give my app because we're not going to do anything inside that and i will just say yes to show this for you the difference so the strict setting will what it will do is it, it will enable your TypeScript to be strictly typed. That means if you give uh, any, it, it will going to show you a warning on the TS lint and it will going to reduce your budget size to 75% and it will enable the template type checking to strict and we're going to see all that inside our project. So I will just go inside the project and I will open that in our Visual Studio. So first thing you will no notice when you will go to the project that we have a new file that is tsconfig.base.json and here we are having our different targets. Here we have our template type to true, the uh, parameter strict injection parameter to true and if I will go to the our ts lint here you can see okay no any is true that means you can not put any. And I know you think like any sometimes is helpless if you don't know what to do and if you don't know the response from if you don't want to type the response from the uh, back end. So if, if it's good to put any but to be honest if you try to create your models and try to put everything as a um, as a typed that's why it's, uh, TypeScript is useful then lots of error can be removed from your application by only using strict typing and that's what angular 10 is doing by default and there are few more changes that we're going to see if you go to the uh, your app json so here you can see you have a package json in your in your app folder itself and here you can see the side effect is false and the side effect is mainly used for to enable advanced tree checking so that the your application will be tree checkable and it the memory management will be good there okay so now we'll go to our modules and it's pretty same so i'll just show you how the page is looking now so apart from that now here you can see we you are getting some compiling uh, messages those are like compiling es2015 as esm2015 that means ecma script modules if you check in angular 9 we, we have a differential loading concept like you you, you build for both a, ECMAScript 5 and ECMAScript 6. So now what Angular is taking a step and that's a good step like you will only serve uh, to new browsers. Very few people are using uh, IE 11 or IE 9. So they are not supporting but I will show you how you can support them. There is not much change in the landing page. So I thought they maybe did something different but there is not much changes here. And it's same as Angular 9 and it's pretty looking pretty good and you have all the all the information here how to add, add thing and speaking about material there is a small change in material and we will going to see that as well and here if you go to the angular.json this, this, this is a budget actually so if you while you are building if your bundle size is crossing this value 
that means it will going to show you a warning and the previous angular 9 so i will open an angular 9 application as well and here if you go to the angular.json and if you try to see the budget and here the maximum warning is 2 mb means if you try to build your application by 2 mb and now that is reduced to 500 kb so it's lot to reduce approx 75 percent reduce and the, again the maximum error will again 5 mb of data and that's what everything is reduced to 75 percent so 4 kb 6 kb become 2 kb and maximum error is 4 kb for for your styling error we'll do a production build we're going to see that this compiling for the your ECMAScript modules the ESM 2015 and it's not going to give you the differential loading so if I will go here and if I just try to expand the dist folder here you can see you have a module for one separate module for ES 2015 and a separate separate module for ES5 that means so suppose someone is asking for ES5 that means older browser then they are they they will going to get these files and someone is asking for ES 2015 they are going to get this 2015 modules and it it is faster so here you can see that we have lot less files so I'll try to bring it side by side so here you can see we have less file only less file means you have only one module as you are only uh, giving ES6 and beyond and but this is the older one the right side is the older one the left side is the newer one and this is the angular 10 and we have very less file so if I'll go to real and finder and if we'll just go inside the concept and I'll just get the info here you can see he, this is for angular 9 this is 759 kb and this you can see is 289 kb with with our routing so here also we have a routing here also we have a routing so it's a kind of same only one service difference here yeah, I don't think that will going to make that much different you are getting a very less bundle size as well that they, and this is a starter bundle why this di difference is again we are now not building two modules means ES5 and ES6 and beyond we are now only supporting ES6 and beyond and apart from that you will get a warning for all your dependency and if you are using any common JS modules so common JS module means which module are not using your uh, ECMAScript modules that is ESM if you are using some dependencies which are uh, which they are like third-party de dependency they are not using ECMAScript module then you will get a warning on that and you can inform your provider that you need ECMAScript modules not a common JS module and now we'll see our angular material and in the component we have a date picker with a range so if I'll just scroll here so here here you can see a date range so previously it are not that so it is just introduced by the angular material team and now you can give a certain date range so first value is this one and if you just you, you can give to multiple month and you should just add it so this is a small change but if you are doing your own date range picker then you can use this and it will be pretty helpful that's the one thing change from the angular material side as you discussed that angular 10 it will going to support the es6 modules and beyond so that uh, it's now eradicate the older browser mainly internet explorer 9 and 11 so which all browser are supported you can check by the command npx browser list and this will going to give you the browser list and if you want like to support extra browser then you can add a, your browser here by default this IE is given as not and it's written here here also if you want to support then remove the not and it will going to work on IE 9 and 11 as well if you want to update your older project to angular 10 then you just need to run ng update angular CLI and angular core and one small change I, I noticed that in our in our editor config by default we are getting code type to single so previously what we used to do is just put the code type to single so that your prettier will get this and put your code to be single because a TS lint will not allow uh, double code and your prettier will going to make uh, the code as double code so 
previously I, I personally do this manually every time but now it's coming by default so thanks angular so that's all we are getting in angular 10 it's not a that big change but it may affect you if if you have older browser user but that also you can enable as i as, as i show you here here you can enable but it it's not preferable and that's what all you can do now it's pretty efficient you have strict type check, checking that means you you are going to be uh, prone to less error and that will be pretty helpful in the long run so hit the like button if you are liking the video till now and please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss the future videos and please let me know in the comment that if you want to use or if you if you have already upgraded to angular 10 and how it's working how fast it is and please share this video among your friends family colleague and let them know that angular 10 is out and ask them to upgrade their old project to new one because it is better and it is efficient so we will going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye